established uh, range of cameras, um, our Seasight range. They've, they've worked very well for us over the years. HD is becoming an industry norm and we want to make sure that, you know, we're able to offer a full HD solution and looking at onwards, you know, past that as well, looking at higher resolutions beyond that in the future, so making sure that we're staying current. Um, but on top of the cameras themselves, we're starting to think now about pellet detection. Um, as sites are starting to come uh, together and create feed clusters, we're seeing that there's a, a massive opportunity there to really optimise um, our customers feed in um, and you know uh, lower their FCRs. Uh, we've tried our best to integrate all of our, our camera systems and our feed systems together and um, seen you know big advantages there and starting to really move in that direction of travel to not think about cameras and feed systems but to think about feeding and how we bring all of that together to, to really you know help our customers achieve their goals and we're able to give the cust our customers the tools to be able to feed effectively whether they want a fully automated solution where you're feeding the fish purely by the cameras making decisions for you through the feed pellet detection and the, and the sea feed software as well or simply as a visual aid. We get a lot of feedback that our cameras are very reliable. We want to be the most reliable, cost-effective solution on the market. And you know, it's, it's a challenging industry, it's a challenging environment, and uh, you know, equipment gets worked really hard. We want to make sure we have the best backup service possible. We've got full-time members of the team that are dedicated to customer service. And we're able to fix most issues remotely, same day, on site. Um, but where we do need a field service engineer to go out and site, we make sure that happens as soon as possible. And we're able to respond to issues same day, if at all possible. If we need to be on site, we'll be there tomorrow, worst case scenario, nine times out of ten.